An exemption to California's fast food minimum wage law hasn't been getting a lot of attention until now. In April, fast food chains in California will have to pay their employees at least $20 an hour. But that minimum wage requirement won't apply to Panera Bread. There's a lot of speculation as to why that is, and it involves someone who owns a number of franchises and has ties to the state governor, Gavin Newsom. The new minimum wage law requires fast food restaurants that have at least 60 locations to start paying their workers a minimum of $20 an hour. The exception, if a fast food chain bakes and sells bread as a standalone item. You don't have to increase the amount of money you pay your employees. You can start your minimum wage at $16 an hour. There's not a lot of fast food companies that bake and sell bread by itself, but Panera Bread does. As Bloomberg first reported, billionaire Greg Flynn's Flynn Restaurant Group owns more than 100 Panera Bread franchises, including a couple dozen in California. Flynn happens to have close ties with California Governor Gavin Newsom, according to sources who spoke with Bloomberg. Flynn is a longtime friend and donor to the governor, according to Bloomberg's report. The two went to high school together, and Flynn has donated to Newsom's campaigns, including a $100,000 and $64,000 donation in 2022. Sources told Bloomberg Flynn is known to brag about his close relationship with Newsom. In a press conference last year, a reporter questioned Newsom about any ulterior motive behind the peculiar exemption that favors Panera over dozens of other fast food chains. But the governor chalked it up to just how negotiations go. What, why did, in the agreement, did you all decide that those workers should not be within the umbrella of this? I mean, that's part of the sausage making that was part of 257, the original bill, and we went back and forth, and there was part of the negotiation. It's the nature of negotiation. However, people familiar with the behind the scenes of those negotiation talks say it was Newsom pushing for Panera to be exempt. This bakery clause was adopted as a means of gaining the governor's support for the legislation, according to Bloomberg sources. Other fast food chains were not happy. McDonald's says the minimum wage hike will cost each California location $250,000 a year, calling it a devastating financial blow. Chipotle says it will cost the company an extra $74 million and will raise menu prices in the high single digits to preserve margins. El Pollo Loco is rolling out kiosks to trim their workforce and will also increase food prices. If you're thinking, why don't these restaurants just start selling a piece of bread so they also can qualify for the exemption? They can't. Selling standalone bread had to be on the menu by September 15th of last year to qualify. And selling items like bagels or croissants also doesn't count. Michelle Corsmo, the head of the National Restaurant Association, said everyone is scratching their head over the bread exemption and described the provision as an example of why her organization's members should develop political connections to seek better legislative outcomes.